Welcome to Electronline. Here's our next example of how to turn a sequence into its equivalent formula. Again, we look at the numerators and we realize the numerators do not change at all. In other words, the numerators, they're always going to be equal to 1. But the denominators, notice that the first denominator, well, we, we can write this as 1 over 1. The second denominator is 3. The third denominator is 9. The fourth denominator is 27. So we can see a pattern of 3 raised to an exponent. This can be written as 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, 3 to the third power, and so forth. So on the second denominators, on the denominators, you can see that we have 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, 3 to the third power, 3 to the fourth power. And if we assume that the denominator here is equal to 1, 1 can be obtained by saying 3 to the 0 power. So really, the denominator here is 3 to the 0 power. So that's the corresponding denominators for the first element, for the second element, for the third element. So we then compare that to the value of n. So let's do that over here. The value of n. So we can see that for the first element, the value of n is equal to 1. And here it's equal to 2. There it's equal to 3, to 4. But there it's equal to 5. So notice that the exponents here, to come up with the value of the denominator, is offset by the n by 1. So if n is equal to 1, the exponent is 0. If n is equal to 2, the exponent is 1. If n is equal to 3, the exponent is 2. In other words, the way we express the denominators in terms of n would be simply to subtract 1 from n to get the exponent, which means that the first denominator can be written as 3 to the n minus 1. Since n is going to be 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, gives us this. Here we have 3 to the n minus 1, because when n is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, we get 3 to the first power. Here this is 3 to the n minus 1, because 2, well, n is 3 here, so 3 minus 1 is 2, and so forth. So you can see that every denominator can be expressed in terms of 3 to the n minus 1 power, starting with the first denominator, which then means that the general formula for that sequence, a sub n, is going to be equal to 1 for the numerator divided by 3 to the n minus 1 for the denominator. And that's how we come up with the formula for that particular sequence. That's how it's done.